Hey everybody, I'm Benji Stute with Palm Beach County's Environmental Resources Management. I'm here with Kylie Ariotti hey from PBC IRM as well. And we're here today at Jupiter's Sawfish Park. And I'm really excited today. We are exploring the newest restoration project here in the Loxatchee River Aquatic Preserve. This is an aquatic preserve, meaning it's a really special place, but like, Kylie, what makes this place so special? So not only do we have the freshwater input from the Loxahatchee River, but we're right here with Jupiter Inlet with that Gulf Stream, making this a wonderful, thriving estuary. This habitat here is actually super vital for juvenile green sea turtles, as well as the fact that you can find so many different access points to be able to paddle this estuary. So it's super accessible to almost anyone in the county or people coming in to visit here as well. Right, and so today we're going to be exploring some of those paddle opportunities, right? Because oh, yeah. with all the boat traffic, sometimes it's tough for paddlers, but this is really a paddler's paradise. You think we got a shot at seeing some sea turtles? Oh, I think so. At Sawfish Bay, for sure. All right, well, let's get the boards in the water. Okay. All right. All right, so Kylie, we are out here at the Palm Beach's newest restoration project here in the Loxatchee River Estuary, Sawfish Island Restoration Project. And it's so exciting to be out here at this stage of restoration, because we like to say very loudly to people, restoration is messy. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> but we're already seeing wildlife utilize this area, right? Yeah, we just saw a snowy egret fly in. We've seen some ospreys flying around. It's absolutely beautiful here already, even in this slightly messy stage of restoration. <laughs> right, right, right. So. So Sawfish is a restoration project, you know, why did it need restoration here? Yeah, so historically this island was naturally a mangrove island. When we went to go dredge the intercoastal waterway, they have to put that material somewhere. They started piling it up here, brought in some invasive vegetation, started to not look so great and not be that thriving natural habitat that we want to see. So Palm Beach County Erm came in, we started removing some of those invasives, we started lowering the elevation. So this is very much like many of our restoration projects. We've got seagrass habitat coming back, mangrove habitat coming back. Mm -hmm. There's two lagoons that were created in here from those upland islands and they're connected by a channel. What's really cool is this is gonna be paddle only access and that channel that we cut to connect these two lagoons is gonna turn into a mangrove Beautiful tunnel. Beautiful tunnel. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the premier paddling spots in the Palm Beaches in the years to come. So Kylie, we're gonna check out a little bit of sawfish here, but then we're gonna to go to Fullerton Island because that's a project we did about a decade ago and we can see what this habitat is gonna become. I'm excited to check it out. All right, let's go. So Kylie, we've made it here to Fullerton Island, and this is a restoration project that's just south of Sawfish. So this is why this paddle is so cool, now that we've restored Sawfish Island, because you can do both islands in the same paddle. So this restoration has been in the ground for about 10 years, and these mangroves were actually planted at the time we restored them. So we can get a little sneak peek at what Sawfish is gonna look like in 10 years right here at Fullerton. Your connection to nature spurred you into career in science, right? But growing up here in Jupiter, I spent a couple of years growing up here too, it didn't matter if you were pursuing a career in science, it seems like the whole community is connected to the nature here, right? A hundred percent, it's just the culture here in Jupiter is connected to these waterways with the Loxahatchee, with the Jupiter Inlet, with the history that both of those share in this town. It is tremendous cultural, connection between all people to want to help restore, protect, and preserve these areas. Right, and, and that's, that's really important because we need everybody, right? And so that's why I'm so excited about these restoration projects mm -hmm. because it, it makes the wild palm beaches accessible to everybody. Like you said, you don't need a fancy boat to access mm -hmm. this wild nature right in our backyard. And also visitors, you know? Visitors people can come, come down and they can it. understand that the palm beaches is, is not just about the beaches and the golf courses and the amazing food, but it's about this wild place that we're so connected to because we were lucky enough to call lucky it our backyard. To grow up here and can still be able to live here and it's an honor, honestly. 